Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the new session. In this session, we are going to study about the time meridian. In this session, we will focus only on the meridian. These imaginary lines drawn on the earth in north south direction. There are 360 meridians on the earth, and when earth moves on its axis, it completes one spin in 24 hours. And in one hour, so 360 degree complete, three complete in 24 hours, then in one hour upon 24, 15 degree. It means the 15 degree we cover in one hour. Clear children? This is very important and you have to remember all the time. Clear? Now we'll understand how the meridians are helpful in calculating the time. Now, see this picture. This is the picture. This is prime meridian or you can say the Greenwich meridian. And <coughs> it is zero degree. It is on the zero degree. And this divides the earth into two hemisphere, eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere. Eastern hemisphere is ahead of the Greenwich mean time. And the western hemisphere is behind the Greenwich mean time because the rotation of the earth is west to east. That's why eastern hemisphere is always above the Greenwich mean time. Here children, now we we'll take one example. Suppose the 90 degree west, the time is 2 p.m. Then what would be the time of the 30 degree west? So how we are going to calculate? We know that the 15 degree covers in one hour. Clear? Now first we have to assume that we are going to add the hours or we will subtract the hours. Obviously we will add the hours because we are moving towards the eastern hemisphere and eastern hemisphere is ahead. Clear? Then this is 2 pm. Then we add 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., and 6 p.m. Clear? So, the time on the 30 degree west is 6 p.m. In this way, we can calculate the time. The other way to calculate the time, if this diagram is not there, we take the difference of two meridians. Take the difference means the 90 degree meridian and the 30 degree meridian. So total 60 degree meridian. Here we get the 60 degree meridian. Okay. 15 degree meridian we will cover in 1 hour and the 16 degree we will cover in 60 upon 45 or oh sorry 15. 60 upon 15 is equal to 4 hour. So it means 4 hour is the answer and if the time on the 90 degree west is 2 pm, 2 pm and the answer is 4 plus 4, 2 plus 4 is 6 pm. Again we will get the same answer. This is the second way. Clear? Now I will tell you there is one formula for calculating the time that is time calculated by the degree degree mm, uh, plus 4 degree into 4 clear and the answer will come in minutes because 4 minutes there is the 4 minute difference between the two meridians or longitudes clear now we will take one example Suppose the time in the green which mean time is 12 noon. So what will be the time on the 60 degree east? Clear? Now we will do 60 degree into 4 minutes. Then the minutes come 240. Clear? 240 is the minutes. And when if we are going to convert this 240 minutes into R, then it is divided by 60, then 4 R. This is the answer. So the time on the 60 degree east is 4 p.m. 
clear so in this way we can calculate the time clear children so i think it's uh, clear to everyone that how can we go we are going to calculate the time now the other thing is time zone clear time zone what is time zone time zone is a region or the area in which the country lies they observe the same time for example this is greenwich and this is on 0 degree we take the 7.5 degree from western side and 7.5 degree from the eastern side it means this is the area this is known as the greenwich time zone clear so all the countries which is in these areas these countries observe the same time clear and after every 15 longitudes time zone 1 time zone 2 time zone 3 and time zone 4 we have to mark plus and western side again time zone 1 time zone 2 time zone 3 clear children and we we'll mark minus i think it's very clear to you now thank you